What is good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, let's look at PS4 emulation. I've been trying to work in the background. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I've been trying to get some stuff together so I can have a couple videos for you guys. You know, we're still going to be on old devices, but until we get the RG Ally and a couple other devices down the road, let's still work on some of these old devices and see if we can bring some more life back to them. Uh, I am on the Steam Deck. The LCD version, the original version with the 64 gigabyte uh, SSD. Well, it wasn't the SSD, but you know what I mean. Uh, but of course, I swapped out the memory and all that. And uh, yeah, but still, that's the two versions I got. The same version. I don't have the OLED. So, anybody, I mean, this should work about the same, if not better, on the OLED, but it's not going to be much difference. So, but we're going to do PS4 emulation. Um, we're going to open up Emu Deck. Cause that's where you got to go to uh, get PS4 emulation. Now you can't download the standalone. Standalone works just fine. But Emmy Deck is where I got it. As you can see, it's Chad PS4. Learn how to set it up. It'll tell you how to set it up on there as well. And if you, uh, which I got to update. I need to update, but I'll do it later. Um, yeah, download it and boom. You got Chad PS4. The emulator is on them. Now the thing is, yes, you had the emulator on here, but for it to be able to work, you're gonna have to have uh, what is called system modules. You can download them off the internet or pull it off your PS4, which would be a more legal way to do it. So, but if you don't have it, like I said, you can just search this word here, boom, download it, boom, and make sure you put it in here, and then boom, there you go. You got your stuff. I'm not gonna show you where to get it because, like I said, I had enough troubles with. Um, the little bit of emulation that's illegal so I can't tell you where to get ROMs and stuff guys I, I really wish I could because really like I said these are old games they don't make no money off of them why they care in the first place I understand they made money off of them I understand it's their project and art but we're not going to go through that legal issues and we're not going to fight through it so it is what it is but make sure you have that and then, then that'll be the way you run your system alright now finding the game same thing look online type in whatever boom there you go uh, but we have six games we're just going to test today. Bloodborne, which we have to make sure we get that because, you know, that's the main game that works. Only everybody knows that works. Um, I had to find an update yesterday just to even get this to where I can get the, you know, uh, cheats and patches to work. Because, you know, they pulled down the 60 FPS patch from the main developer, uh, whatever his name is, Lance. They took that one. He made him take his down. So I don't know what's going on with that. But... You still gotta update it for it to be in the work. Uh, every game just about work except for Dragon Ball Z and Unravel. Now it might be an update or something I gotta put to it or cheat a patch or something. I just didn't feel like going back through it because it took forever. So yeah, but we're just gonna test these games. Of course, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we're gonna go through it like this. Now I can play it on game mode and just record straight video from it. If you guys want to just see the video, be playing the games and see if it runs well. Uh, just ask in the comment and I'll go back and make a version of that. But for me to play the game, I have to use the Steam Deck itself because uh, the controller that's connected to it, ain't, it won't work for some reason. Um, because I'm on desktop mode, I'm going to have double input, so we're not going to go through the full thing. But I just want to show you that, yeah, PS4 emulation does work, surprisingly, on an old Steam Deck, the LCD version. It's powerful enough to play a few decent games. Yeah, it's a tutorial. I don't need no tutorial. Uh, I know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! What's wrong with y'all? Yu-Gi-Oh! ain't new. Except for them new ones. Oh, oh, they gonna keep making me do this time. Huh? Alright, fine. But as you can see, Yu-Gi-Oh! runs. No problems. You can get through here pretty easily. Uh, we're gonna close out of Shad PS4. Because, yeah. We're gonna close out of there, so we're gonna pull it back up again. Alright, so we've seen that Yu Gi Oh works. Unravel, I had issues with for some reason, it don't run from the last time I tried it out. I hadn't tried it since we got an update on Shad PS4, so uh, as far as I know, it didn't run. And it's probably gonna cut off in a second. Uh, nope, Unravel does not work. So we're going to turn on Ravel off. Now, like I said, you might have to update the games. They might run better. You might find a way to fix them and run them. But as far as I know right now, that game did not run at all. So we're going to try 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, couple more games. Go down. Come on, Shad PS4. Yes, Shad PS4 again. We're gonna. So um, Yu-Gi-Oh works. Unravel didn't work. Dragon Quest works. Runs fine, actually. I haven't played it through, but I do know it runs fine. Uh, screen X game. As you can see, yeah, so, I mean, Dragon Quest Builder works. That's for us. And the controls automatically work to share PS4, so, which is great. But as you can see, shout out. Dragon Quest does work. Dragon Quest. All right, Dragon Quest builders work. Dragon Ball Z Fighter. Let's go through that. You would think this would work because it's not really a hard game to run. It's Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I don't think any Dragon Ball Z games are hard to run. Because it really ain't. They're pretty much one of the easier things. If, if not if, the easiest game to emulate. I mean, for PS2, all the Dragon Ball Z games are one of the easiest games to emulate on even the cheaper phones. So, I don't know what's going on exactly with that. Maybe time will tell. Once we get version 1.0, maybe we'll have it working. But Dragon Ball Z didn't work. But that was the only two games that didn't work. That one didn't unravel. All right. So, but everything else that I have on the list does work. Dragon Ball Z and Unravel, uh... Unravel does not for some reason. I, I think Unravel's not a hard game to really run. Alright, so Dragon Ball Z, Unravel, they do not work. Digimon Cyber Sleuth, it does work, but it does come with some text issues that when I play the text uh, text words, as you can see. As you can see, you don't see no data. You can't see nothing. As you can see, no text, no wording. See, I mean, yeah, it's still there. It runs. The game does run. So, as you can see, the game runs. But, there's no text bubbles and stuff in it. I think even when I try to talk to somebody, I think it's the same way. Yeah, see, you can't see nothing. But that's the only thing that was wrong with it. But the game runs, as y'all can see. This is going to be a short video just showing what games were running on the Steam side of things, uh, Steam Deck side. But other than that, if y'all want a full video of each game, the ones that do run, of course, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if there's any PS4 games you guys want to see, let me know as well. But it will take more time to get PS4 games than it does any other games. Because at least with PS3, you got plenty of places to get it ps3 takes a while too now since um they've been taking a cracking down on a lot of websites and stuff uh, all right so we did digimon dragon Ball Z, and all that so now the game it out bloodborne not gonna play too long because i don't know what sony got going on with bloodborne and i don't want to get copyright because i'm showing bloodborne but i will show a little bit that it does run on here uh so people know that bloodborne does work on the steam deck because other people have shown it working People show with the 60 FPS uh, patch, which, like I said, you can do it from the patches on here because they didn't pull it from there. The actual dude that you no know, made the patch, of course, is uh, not on his site, but we don't know what Sony exactly got playing. I never played Bloodborne personally. Um, a lot of people love Bloodborne, but this is the way you get it. This is the only way you can get it because it's a PS4 game. But as you can see, it is moving. I can move. It's a little stuttery. I should be moving. As you guys can see, it's, it's, it's running. I'm not going to really play it through. I'm just showing that it does play. Because like I said, I'm on desktop mode. And with me being on desktop mode, I get double input. But anyway, as you can see, PS4 games do run impressive that ps4 does run on steam deck 
So now Steam Deck is pretty impressive. Like you can play PS4 games, PS3 games, and then you can play your retro games. And that's that's really cool that we have one device that can really run a lot of games. Now is the Steam Deck gonna run every game? No. Is the Steam Deck will the Steam Deck ever run every game? No. If you can afford to get one of the higher end stuff that's coming out, because we got the new Legion Go 2 coming out, you got uh, the RG Ally X that then came out, you got other handhelds, and we we just at the beginning of the year, so you know Amber Neck and everybody else gonna be coming out with handhelds, you know, out the woodwork. Um, but like I said, if you have the money, go for the more expensive thing because it will actually last and give you better you know quality but don't hate the steam deck though the steam decks are really nice for the price they gave us especially the, the the older models the fact that they can do ps4 ps3 and play pc games and can do a lot more editing video and all that they're impressive for 400 300 200 bucks they, i mean this steam deck i got was for 250 <laughs> so you and i you can't beat that that's not bad a 250 half of what a playstation 5 could be but that's besides the point. I ain't trying to make the video too long. But like I said, if you guys see any games that you want to see on the uh, Steam Deck or whatever, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to do my best to get it. I'm going to try to get back to trying to make these videos. But guys, this has kind of been busy, hectic. Life is busy out here. So yeah, that's why I've been kind of behind on my videos. I've been slow on videos. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to do work and do this and do that at the same time. And with not having no new device, I didn't want to... You know, putting that out right now for real. So, but I know I have videos I need to be made. Go ahead and making them. That's what I'm doing now. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, share and like, subscribe with your friends, and uh, ah, well, that'll control do work. Right? Anyway, anyway, subscribe, share, and uh, let me know anything in the comment section down below that you need to see or whatever, and we'll try to do best that I can for you guys. So yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until I see you in the next video, peace out.